So this is my uh, Tesla coil winding rig that I've got. Um, this is uh, just a variable speed motor that's controlled by this uh, control unit. I found it at uh, the college that I used to go to. Um, it was in the warehouse uh, junk pile. And it, it works, it's just kind of touchy. Um, so I've gotten it to a point where to turn it off, I just have to turn the speed to zero and then unplug it. So uh, it doesn't it doesn't like being turned off because I can't get it back on again very easily. Enough to precisely wind this. So <clears throat> I'm halfway there. I've got a three inch uh, diameter PVC pipe here that I sanded down. I put some um, spray uh, polyurethane um, lacquer, I believe, on it. And uh, I've got a, I think, a five inch or a four inch diameter uh, cap here that I have a hole drilled through that the um, it's going right into the uh, little axle for the motor. Uh, these pins here are are twist lock pins. They're sort of set pins for this. So this way I can do a three inch diameter or maybe a four inch diameter later on or even a two inch diameter. I can just squeeze the pins in. Notice that this this rig is a vertical winding rig. Um, many of the other rigs you see out there are horizontal. I just don't have room for horizontal. Uh, and this one is certainly easier to deal with. Um, we'll see if the results are better. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so it's pulling wire from this other rig that I have here, which is just a piece of wood with a one-inch PVC cap with a, with a hole and a wood screw in it, I guess going that way, um, with a little one-inch diameter PVC pipe going through. I've got my spool of magnet wire on it. Uh, to make the magnet wire go higher up as the coil gets higher and higher, I have these other pieces of PVC, these little two inch, uh, I'm sorry, this is half inch, this is one inch diameter um, PVC pipe. So I can just kind of stack it up as I get higher. So I'm going to need another piece pretty soon here. Um, and these are just scraps. So uh, this is something I wanted to put together that was cheap and quick um, and easy. So I'll try and maneuver the camera so you can see this thing in action. There's a little bit of a technique. Notice my thumb has a little piece of blue tape on it, and this has been taped up to kind of secure it from unwinding. And uh, I just use blue tape because it doesn't leave any residue behind. It's really quick um, and, and easy to do. Uh, I'll leave a few strips out just in case. So I have one on my thumb because that's where you end up holding the wire right here. And uh, after a long bit of winding, you, you're going to start hurting your thumb. Um, I use my other finger uh, here. I just put my finger lightly here as it's winding to keep it down and so it doesn't overlap. So when it does start to overlap, I kind of have to slow down, and, uh, and but I, I can start to feel it. So there's a little bit of a technique, and I'll try to somehow get the camera on this, but uh, let me crank it up. Hold on. I may not have much luck with this. Let's see. Okay, that's not bad. So I'm taking the piece of blue tape off. Hopefully it doesn't unwind on camera. That would not be something I want to send to America's Funny Home Videos. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I can feel the torque going. Stop. All right. So let me put my fingernail here. And it's really... Okay, let me get it going over here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I think I turned it up too high. <laughs> this thing really wants to jump out. Let me turn it down some. Whew. That was close. Okay, let me get it going. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit more comfortable. It's a little bit wobbly, but nothing, you know, too bad. Um, it goes pretty quick. I. I don't know how many windings I'm getting per minute, but it's a lot. So, anyway, before this thing tilts over, I gotta, as you can see, I gotta stabilize it more. But um, that's the winder so far. And hopefully, this will improve the speed of me getting this testicle done. So, anyway, thanks for watching.